Hello everyone, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing about email filters. These email filters are very important in order to avoid or block any unwanted communication or to move the emails which you get in your instance. So let's get started. So for that, we go to mailbox. So under mailbox in the administration category, we have these two options. First one is filters. So you can use these filters to move the emails once it is received in the system mailbox. Okay, so let me open one of it. So in this example, what we are doing, we are moving the spam emails into the junk folder. So basically you can specify all the conditions here. Let's say uh, you want to specify a word in the header like this. Header contains this particular spam or header contains Gmail. Whatever you want, you can specify in the conditions. And if the condition is not possible using these filters, you can add the scripting condition as well. And then we have the option to add the email filter actions. So here in the email filter action, you get two options. The very first one is move to junk folder and the second one is mark as ignored. Okay. So these two options are out of the box. In case you want to do something else, let's say when you receive a spam email, you want to delete it. So you can write that logic in this particular script option that is action script. So in the action scripts, you have the option to use current object. Along with that, you can use any of the server side API in this and do whatever you want to do with that particular email. So these are the filters once the email received into the system. But in case you don't want any email from a particular domain or a particular website or from any other source and you want that email must never come into your system in that case you can use system address filters so as an example i am demonstrating avoid gmail test okay here what i am doing i am avoiding the email from any of the gmail account it means the email which is coming from any of the gmail account will not enter into the mailbox of this particular instance that is dev95794 so what I did here, I have created a new record. Let me open it. This is the name. So you see here in the type I have used inbound because I am avoiding the email which are coming into the system. That's why inbound. Okay. Otherwise you can select outbound. If you don't want to send any email from this system to other system. Okay. And after that, you have to create an email address filter. So how to create an email address filter from here. This is the email address filter. I have created the same email address filter that is avoid Gmail test. And here I have provided a deny list and the domain is gmail.com. So let me open it. So this is a deny list. So what is the deny list? It means I have to specify all the domains which I don't want to use. That is from where I don't want to get any email. So what the system will do, it will not get the email from that particular domain okay so the next option is allow list so if you select the allow list in that case the system will receive email only from these domains so right now we are going for deny list okay so this record is already created so here I have selected the email address filters that's it you have to save it just see here this system address filter is active okay so now let me go to the mailbox. Click on received. Right now no email is received. So let me go to the Gmail. So you see here I've already tested it. Okay, this is uh, the email address of my dev instance. Dev95794 at the rate servicenowdevelopers.com So if you have your development instance you can use the same email address just change the name here click on compose at the mail uh, test for deny list okay copy click on send so let's see it is sent from here so now let's reload this it's been five minutes I have not received the email yet so now let me false this system address filter 
let's see what will happen then this is false okay so there is no system address filter which is avoiding gmail so now let's go to the gmail again select the mail provide subject check gmail now send so now let's see if we receive the email okay let's wait for some time uh, so friends you see here finally i got the email it took a while because it's a development instance but i received it let's open this email it is coming from this account opacing editor you see here this is my gmail account and this is the preview i have not added much just a simple message check gmail now okay so in this way you can avoid unwanted users unwanted uh, uh, domains and any suspicious domain any spam domain anything you want you can avoid by using system address filter so i hope you got this both the items that is email address filters and system address filters see you in next video till then thank you so much bye bye